Hi guys, so let's talk about Gil Ofarim because he's pissing me off and I think he's pissing everyone off. You remember that singer who a couple of weeks ago allegedly said that he was discriminated because of his Star of David necklace in Leipzig. Everyone, the whole community immediately supported him. We called out the hotel. I mean, what can you do? You know, you see someone who is almost crying on a vlog and then we were there supporting him. And right now the news is that he faked the whole situation. He was not discriminated. There was no anti-Semitism. There was no Jew hatred. And all I can say, Gil, you fucking suck. Like, do you know how much you hurt the community with this? Do you know how much you hurt our fight against anti-Semitism? All those organizations who are continuously trying to get justice against the Jew hatred, justice when a Jew is being attacked, or discriminated just because someone is a Jew or a Zionist. And there comes Gil and he lies and he lies and he lies. And he's okay and he accepts that the whole community is standing up for him. And hundreds gathered in Leipzig to protest the Westin Hotel chain just because he said that he was discriminated for being a Jew. Hundreds gathered. They took their time, their effort to be there for another Jew. And now we need to read the news that actually he lied. He did not wear the Star of David necklace at that particular moment. And he was not discriminated because he was a Jew. There was no Jew hatred in that situation. As far as now the situation and, and the conclusion of the whole case reads, is that because of COVID, obviously everything was way slower to check into a hotel and you can do a lot of things online ahead of time so to speed up your checking process. He did not do that, so he had to wait a lot. And then he made up this whole story that he was basically discriminated because he was, or he is a Jew. I can't even comprehend who in his right mind would do something like this. Especially knowing that every hotel has cameras, so it's so easy to catch you lie. But beyond the morality here, and how he lost credibility as a person, he can screw his whole singing career because, come on, who is going to support a liar even if you are a good singer? But the thing, how much you hurt the community with that, how much you hurt the, the genuine fight of so many people, you really should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm really the last person to call for cancel culture because I've talked a lot about that, you know, if cancel culture um, should exist in any way, people should cancel me too because I am coming from an anti-Semitic background so you could totally cancel me for my past. But nothing excuses this behavior. You are not a child, you are an adult person. And you have so much at stake with this, with this lie. I, I'm, I'm so frustrated by this, seriously, because you have no idea. Like when something like this happens, just with the clients that I work with, we spend hours and hours discussing how we can help a legal case, if, if there is a legal case, what kind of campaigns we can build around, how can we mobilize people, how do we reach people from New York, in Germany, how we coordinate things. It's a lot of work and effort to actually trying to make a difference, only to wake up a couple of weeks later to figure out that this person that you, you try to protect and try to stand up for actually lied and I still don't I still cannot even comprehend the logic in his mind oh let's make up a story now so basically what's gonna happen he's going to be sued by the hotel that's the latest news and I mean he deserves it but on a bigger scale and a bigger picture this is part of the problem in the Jewish community and why the Jewish civil rights movement is not succeeding as opposed to others because you make up these lies and then you cry off and then you know nobody's going to believe you. So next time there is an anti-Semitic attack, which is a real one, and someone is really going to be discriminated for being a Jew or a Zionist, nobody is going to believe. Or for us to make a case, we need to work two, three times more because of lies like this. I mean, you really need to be stupid guilt to do this. Like, seriously, so stupid. Your thoughts are welcome on this, but I was hesitant for the last two days to comment on this, but actually we do need to because he is hurting everyone's effort and he is just literally fueling anti-Semitism. Like, 
in a very perverted and bizarre way. So, absolutely no cool. No cool. This is not food spot. This is stupidity. Like, really, Gil, shame on you. So, uh, guys, your thoughts are welcome. If you know more than I do about the case from Germany, then do share. But this is my last information, and it's just aggravating how someone would make up a lie. And yeah, so that's it. That's all I wanted to rant about today because we do need to call out people who are literally making stupid of us. Like, he played us all. He played us all. Played. And I was up until like 2 a.m. that day just to, you know, try to roll the balls and, and make, make, you know, like something of a campaign out of it in a positive way. And hundreds of people gathered in Leipzig to help him. How can you even look into the room? Okay, enough of my moral ju just moral judgment here, but it just no comment. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day and do not lie to make a case ever, ever in the long haul. It just hurts everyone even more. So that was my rant about Gil, who should really give us all a favor.